Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Wipro round that is interview round. If you have given the advertisement then please wait few days you will get the interview call within few days. If you are preparing for WILP interview, if you are preparing for a light interview then this video is going to be very much helpful because I am going to merge the interview experience and I am going to upload all the questions has been asked in these days. So let me just show all of this one by one. Just before that guys, I want you to subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and please do share this content. So, so your big heart and be with me. I'll be updating you with the latest questions. Okay. So let me show you the first questions as always. And that will be obviously tell me about yourself or give me your introductions. Okay. So. Uh, in this case, I have already given you the template. So this type of template you have to cover and you can explain according to your answer as well. Just uh, this is the standard format you can follow. And here what is important that is you have to include your academic career. You have to include your streams like uh, you have to tell about the internships you have done, trainings, webinars you have joined and your hobbies you have to mention there. And also you have to tell about at least two skills two tech skills you have one soft skill you have and at the end why we pose objective is aligning with your objective you have to tell that so that it will impact on your interviewer and he will be uh, like uh, behaving good with you so i hope you understood so this is the standard way to give the introductions so i hope you will maintain that so let me show you the next question as this was the technical rounds so that's why uh, all the questions will be asked that is technical right if you passed in this round then only you will be moved forward to the next round that is hr round right or managerial managerial round so now the next question is difference between normal increment by one and pre-increment or post increment so these questions are all for wilf and elite so please uh, like pause the video and try to give the answer by yourself uh, like just uh, guess that your interviewer is sitting in front of you and you are giving the answers okay so i hope you understood just when i'll show the coding questions only then only skip that if you are from wilf okay if you are from uh, we uh, we pro wilf then you can skip the coding questions okay okay so now difference between normal increment by one and pre-increment or post increment how to answer this so whenever you are answering you have to give a theoretical answer at first okay then you have to give the example real time example you have to give you have to give a code example you have to tell about the syntax you used okay so how to answer let's say uh, if you have told that normal increment is i is equal to i plus one explicitly resign, uh, reassigns a new value okay but pre-increment increases i first then yields the new value in expression okay post increment i plus plus yields the old value in the expression then increment i so let me show you one example let's say uh here int i i hope this is visible to you int i is equal to 5 okay and here int j is equal to i plus 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 i so if i print the value of i here then what will be the value of i and what will be the value of j can you tell me you have to you have to answer in such a way with uh, example so that the interviewer have no questions left with okay so if i print i what will be the value that is i plus plus so it will be incremented so six and here it is incremented seven right so the value of i will be seven but what will be the value of j the value of j will be uh, so what may, uh, students make mistake here that is the value of j why because let's say 5 plus plus so it becomes 6 it becomes 6 and then uh, 6 plus 1 that is 7 so students make mistake here that is they print 17 but this will not be 17 i think this is not visible to you uh, students make mistake that they print 17 but why this is not 17 because when you are making i plus 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 i post increment pre increment so in case of post increment the value old value actually yields first then it's incremented so the value of i was 5 so it yields first then incremented right 
so then incremented but it is already yielded in this expression okay then incremented so it becomes 6 not added in the expression okay so 6 plus sorry 5 plus it was 6 right right so value of i is 6 but it yields the value of 5 then it is pre-incremented so at first the value of i will be incremented first in case of pre-increment then the value of updated value i will be added in the expression so that is 6 plus 1 that is 7 so 7 plus 5 is equal to 12 right so this way you have to answer so value of j will be 12 so this is what you have to mention to your interviewer with theoretical answer and with the example okay so the next question is this global variable versus local variable you have to give example just before that guys i want you to have the prime materials of wipro in which you will get all the recent questions with answers all the previous questions if you want to give any company's uh interview then you can follow our premium materials in which you will get all the machine learning all the c programming java c plus plus interview questions all the technical interview questions which will be very much important for from sql dbms and also operating systems so these all questions are included and for all of these we have separate pdfs and if you prepare these then no other questions will be uh, it will be asked to you okay all questions from will be common from our materials so please visit so the material will be like this if and also hr materials are there if this is the question then all the template answers are provided to you so you can follow those okay so i hope you will consider it so please visit topmentios technology if the link will be given in the description box please follow that and grab the opportunity okay okay so now how to answer global variable versus local variable with an example that is so you have to at first uh, explain by the theory or explain by the definitions right then you have to give the example so a global variable is a declared outside functions and is accessible across functions a local variable is declared inside functions or block and only accessible there global persist of the program lifetime locals exist only during function executions okay so that means uh, the scope of the variable which is declared inside a loop the scope of that inside only inside the loop only okay so let me just show you this example let's say uh, this is a c programming example okay so this is the function okay this is the function returning nothing and here one variable is when uh, variable is initialized that is int x x is 5 right and here int g is equal to 10 outside this uh, a function scope this is declared so this value will be accessible from anywhere inside the functions outside the functions from anywhere this value can be accessible but this value x is declared inside this curly braces which is inside the function it cannot be accessible the value of x cannot be accessible outside this curly braces okay that means the scope of this x is inside only this uh, function okay i hope you understood and uh, yeah otherwise it will throw an error so you can mention this way and you can give the example and, the, and ask the interviewer that uh, sir i am showing you the example can i share my notepad and can i share the screen so just ask this way okay so let me show you the next question that is application of break and continue this is very important and like uh, whatever questions i'm showing you these are all recently and actually asked questions so if you are preparing for wipro will and delight so please prepare with that okay okay so now this question you have to answer application of break and continue how to answer so at first you have to tell about the definitions break exists exits the nearest loop or switch use it when you find the desired item or need to stop on error okay continue skips the rest of the current loop iteration and proceeds to the next one okay like uh, how can you give the example how can you give the example let's say this is the for loop okay for int i is equal to zero i less than five i plus plus okay so here I'm checking if the value of i is equal to is equal to oh, 3 then only continue okay then only continue what does that mean I'm and, and I'm printing the value of i here 
so what does that mean uh, like what's the mean of uh, continue that is at that at, at first the value of i is zero right so at first it is zero so it will print the value of i that is zero then the i2 will be incremented to one and then the value of i is equal to one and it will check this is not true so it will print to one and in the next iteration the value of i is uh, incremented here now then it is two and it will check if this is uh, lesser than sorry if this is equal to equal to three if no then it will print the value of two and then it will check if this two is uh, sorry again this will be incremented to three and it will check if this is lesser than uh, the value of five or not so it is true i mean it is not lesser than not it is true means it does not exit in the value of five and it will check if i is equal to three no so it will again print the value of i that is three sorry if it is equal to equal to three then it will continue that means it will not print three it will continue to the next iteration it will not break the loop okay it will skip that particular point and it will keep continue to the next iteration to uh, like it will check again increase the value of i that is 4 now so it will check it is now still uh, like true i less than 4 I, I mean i 4 less than 5 so that's why it will print the value of 4 and it will keep iterating this way right so i hope you understood and in case of uh, in case of break what happens in case of break if i write break here whenever so at first the value of uh, i 0 1 2 is printed if the value is i i is equal to 3 then it will fully break the loop and it will stop the iterations okay and it will not print further so in case of continue we could print 0 1 2 4 5 just skipping only one particular conditions but in case of break whole conditions like a whole upcoming uh, iterations will be skipped okay and it will broke uh, the, the flow of the program will be outside of the loop okay so that's the thing you have to mention to the your, your interview interviewer i hope you understood so the next question is this swapping two numbers without using a third variable and this is for elite guys still if you are from well uh, this will be very much helpful for you so please pause the video and try to give the answer by yourself otherwise i'm giving you the answers swapping two numbers without using a third variable how to answer that you can use this using a third variable but the tricky question is that you cannot use the third variable okay so there is a two ways you can mention two ways using sum subtract and there is a second way that is using the zor operations so you can explain any of the uh, you can uh, like ask your interviewer which can i explain if uh, like can i explain the zor one if he permits then you can explain this way okay that is int a is equal to 5 b is equal to 9 if we have any slash this way then how the zor operations works that is let's say for 5 what's the uh, binary representation of 5 that is 101 1. and for 9 what is that so that will be uh, 5 is uh, 101 8 is 1000 and 1001 1, right so 1001 1. okay so in case of zor operations 0 0 1 1 these are false okay if 0 1 1 0 these are true okay so you have to remember this so 1 1 this is false 0 0 false 0 1 true 1 0 1 true so 1100 so this becomes what 5 zor 9 it will become um 10 0 1 9 so it will become i think uh, 10 10 is uh, 10 11 12 so this will become 12 okay so uh, if it is 12 now if a is equal to 12 now b is equal to what a is or b so a is equal to 12 12 is 1100 now b is equal to 9 so that is 1001 okay so if i perform again this zor operations then 10 zero, true 0 0 false 1 0 2 1 1 false so it, it is 1 0 1 that is 5 right so b is equal to 5 b is equal to 5 a is equal to a is equal to a is or b so that was 12 12 is 1100 and b is 5 so 5 is 1 0 1 okay so now if i perform zor operations so 1 0 that is true 
0 0 that is false 1 1 false and 0 1 true 1001 that becomes 9 so this is how the values of two variable swapped that is b is equal to now 5 and a is equal to 9 i hope you understood this way the value of uh, two variables will be swapped so you can explain this way fully if you have like time and i think you don't have that much time but still you keep explaining the things so that they can interpret you like a good candidate okay so now the next question is program to find the largest numbers among the three so compare pairwise if so program to find the largest numbers among three numbers okay i'm not giving the answer guys please pause the video and try to compile the code in your uh, compiler and give the answer in the comment section okay i'm not giving the answer so please arrange the answer and give in the comment section guys this will be a quick question for you how to explain please uh, give your answer in the comment sections now the next question is the reverse the string this is also very good important uh, coding questions asked in interview and please be prepared with these uh, if you are from elite okay and also prepare for the palindrome code prime number code these are very important code co coding questions for wipro elite okay and the next question is explain your project and this was actually it, this can be asked in the second question this this was second question actually so use star method that is uh, at first explain about the situation you had there then what was the task and what action you have taken then the result outcome what you have got okay so that means uh, explain about your project like uh, i got this situation uh, this situation we had then we have made this 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 and i played this role also i faced this problem i overcome this way and also i played uh, the major role in our project i was the leader of my project so this is what you have to mention in your like in this answer okay then the next question is do you know about the service agreement so service line agreement you can mention this way yes i understand a service agreement is an employment contract with terms like notice period pro uh, probation periods training costs relocation co clauses i will read it carefully and comply asking for clarification if needed okay so this is what you can mention okay then the next question is do you have any objection to relocating so actually this is uh, hr based questions uh, so answer wisely and you have to always be positive in this case i am open to relocating and excited about the opportunities etc etc at the end if you interviewer ask you the questions like um, do you have any question if you say that i have no answer i have no question then it will be badly impact on your candidature okay and if you ask that uh, uh how much salary i will get don't say about that okay Ex like ask the interviewer like what's the scope for this technology i have knowledge on this technology can i get this technology and i do i have the, any learning opportunity freely so in this way you can explain uh, you, you can ask your interviewer right so that uh, he can interpret like the inter the, the candidate have enthusiasm in learning okay so they can uh, give they can select you okay and the two questions two to three questions i missed that is for will and elite both that is what is polymorphism what is inheritance and regarding the oops concept so yes please be prepared with these oops concept questions and that will be very much helpful for you only okay and again i am requesting you to have the prime materials for interview only for common HR, like most common hr interview questions most common oops questions most common uh technical questions all the technical questions we covered in this material so please visit through the link given the description box and grab the opportunity to any company that you want okay so thank you for today's session